Putting now training on the Memphis Super Cluster Computer is now underway at XAI in Memphis. Owner Elon Musk calls this the most powerful AI training cluster in the world. Yeah, it looks like we were just talking about right. it coming. Now they're already talking about training. But many questions still surround the facility and its potential impacts to the people who live here. Our WREG Shea Simon has been working to get some answers all day. She is live tonight downtown. Yes, Stephanie, Greg, uh, it was announced back in June that Memphis will be home to the world's largest supercomputer. And now that that training is underway, we reached out to MOGW and the TVA. In a post on X, Elon Musk mentions Memphis's XAI supercomputer facility for the first time on the app, saying artificial intelligence training started around 420 Monday morning. So far, we know that XAI will be the largest capital investment by a new to market company in the city's history, and it's raising a lot of questions. Well, I think there's natural for there to be questions about this. Obviously, it's a big project. It's been fast moving. Earlier this month, MOGW President Doug McGowan shared that XAI could use up to 150 megawatts of power at peak times. Tennessee Valley Authority says any project using more than 100 megawatts must be approved. WREG did some digging and found out right now TVA does not have a contract with the company. TVA tells WREG we are working with XAI and our partners at MOGW on the details and the proposal and electricity demand needs. We asked MOGW if XAI is already on the grid and they tell us the company moved into an existing building with existing utility services. McGowan says he is working to make sure this major move doesn't impact the local utility. Also our work to make sure that we protected uh, the rest of our customers to make sure that everybody has the power that they need and to preserve the assets that we all count on like our uh, clean drinking water. Clean drinking water. Yeah, well, Stephanie, Greg, uh, many Memphians, of course, have questions. MOGW does say that in the future, in the coming days, they do plan to host some public forums to answer those questions. So, of course, this is something that we will stay on top of. For your news leader in downtown Memphis, Shay Simon, WREG News Channel 3. All right, we'll look forward to that. Thank you, Shay.